we're going to run through how to choose a Coast Guard approved foam life jacket for a child. Uh, first, the sizing. It, unlike adults, it's not based on the chest me measurement. It's the weight of the child. And the first category is infant, and that's zero to 30 pounds. Uh, next is child, which is 30 to 50 pounds. And last is a youth size, where the child weighs 50 to 90 pounds. Starting with uh, infant, um, there are two types of life jackets uh, in terms of the Coast Guard. When it comes to infant, you'll use a type two. Um, and what's particular to this is type twos will turn most people from face down to face up on their back, which you want for an infant always. And for kids, type twos, they include a grab handle where you can pull them back on board and support, flotation support behind the head, as you see here, and a crotch strap down here that can be cinched and that keeps them up in the vest and keeps it from riding up and keeps them higher in the water. Um, the next size is going to be a child, and these are available in a Coast Guard uh, Type 2 with similar features that I just went through here. So if someone's not a strong swimmer, not as comfortable in the water, new to the water, uh, Type 3 is going to give them the support that they need if they go in. It's the most popular for a child size, 30 pounds to 50. If you have someone uh, who is quite comfortable in the water, um, they're a pretty good swimmer, you may opt for a type 3, which does not have the head support, um, it doesn't have a grab strap, and may have a crotch strap in this case. It's more like an adult life jacket, extra freedom of movement, um, so a type 2, uh, we see those in child size uh, used. Lastly is uh, youth. And youth is for kids that are weighing uh, 50 to 90 pounds. And the vast majority of them are a scaled down adult version, uh, like you see here, without a crotch strap. This is for someone who's comfortable in the water, a good swimmer. Um, they afford a lot of comfort and ease of movement. So these, by far, uh, for youth size, are our most popular. But again, if you have someone who's not comfortable in the water and not a good swimmer, going back to a type 2 where you've got flotation behind the head, you can pull them back into the boat, and a crotch strap to keep this in place, that would be a good choice for that child. Once you've chosen the proper size for your child and the type of life jacket, um, you need to do a little prep before you head out on the water for the first time. Parents are sometimes surprised how kids uh, chafe at or are uncomfortable with a new life jacket on the boat, or they go in the water for the first time with it on, and there's a little bit of a panic, which is not a good thing. So uh, first thing, I'm starting with this infant type 2, and you want to put your child in here, adjust this, adjust the crotch strap, not too tight, but snug, and you want to make sure this doesn't move around. You want to grab it by the shoulders and pull it up and make sure that it's not riding up too much. The second thing is in calm water or even better in a pool um, with your child in this, you want to get them in the water and make sure that this wants to put them on their back and in this position and that they're comfortable in that. Um, as we move into child size, we have, again, type 2 with a crotch strap, same thing on land, nice and adjusted. Pull and make sure it doesn't go up too high. If it's moving around and you can't adjust it down and snug, you might need a different vest. And with the Type 3, which is more of an adult style uh, in a child size, you normally retain the crotch strap in the child size, which is great. So when you're doing the short test, you pull it up after it's all adjusted. If it's riding up too high, you can just adjust the crotch. And then again, with these, you want to get them in the water. Now, this is not going to tend to put them on their back. This is for someone who swims, is comfortable in the water, and can move through. And with the type 2, of course, you want to make sure that this puts them on their back and uh, comfortable. And coaching them through relaxing their arms and their legs the whole time. You don't want them flailing. As we move into youth, the larger size of the children's, here we've gone into a scaled down adult version. There's generally no crotch strap here. So when you do the shore test, um, adjust everything snug, stand behind them, arms up, and pull up on the vest and make sure not only does it come to just, you know, doesn't push their head up, it doesn't actually pop off. If it does, they probably need a different style uh, of vest or better adjustments. And then again for uh, youth who are a little uncomfortable, not strong swimmers, you can go back to a 
type two with a crotch strap and go through the same um, test with them and getting them comfortable. Um, for this and more information on life jackets, visit the APS advisor at APSLTD.com.